Boston Post, January 7, 1906. A fearless woman. Mrs. Jenny B. Powers, agent for the Keene Humane Society, once jumped from a window in Brattleboro to stop the beating of horses. She carries a gun and possesses the spirit to work in defense of beasts and children. My name is Jenna Carroll, and I'm a museum administrator in Keene, New Hampshire. And I'm the proud mother of two daughters, Ruby and Sophia. There comes a time in any historian's work when you're going through materials from the past and you realize that you're onto something. That happened to me four years ago when I first stumbled across the amazing story of Jenny B. Powers. Jenny Bell Carter was born in Brattleboro, Vermont on January 5, 1864. As a child, she used to fill her pockets with bugs and snakes and rocks and feathers, so much so that other kids teased her about it. She loved entomology and took up a range of hobbies that were often male-dominated. She married Frank Powers, an organ maker, and they had two daughters, both of whom died in infancy. Looking back at Jenny's life over 150 years later, it seems as if she channels the grief from losing her children by returning to the passions of her youth. Collecting specimens for taxidermy exhibits, constructing special cages for insects. She ends up donating 2,000 insects to the Brattleboro Natural History Society, in effect creating a free natural history museum in her hometown. Then Jenny moves to Keene, New Hampshire, divorces her husband, we don't really know why, and becomes the first female agent for the Humane Society, with jurisdiction into New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Vermont. She becomes one of the country's first female deputy sheriffs, carrying a 38 caliber Smith & Wesson. Now to understand the role and importance of the Humane Society in those days, you have to remember the role of animals in late 19th century American society. They were used for transportation, for farming, for factory work, for moving freight. Horses, for example, were kept in every square inch of every city. And even in death, horses made their owners money. Their hides became leather, their hair furniture stuffing, their muscles and organs pet food. If they had any fat on them, it was turned into soap. In fact, it was often more profitable for people to simply work their horses to death, since the carcass might be worth more than a live animal. Jenny's work as a Humane Society agent and deputy sheriff focused on preventing this kind of animal cruelty and abuse. She exposed mistreatment, chased down abusers, and put animals down humanely when necessary. Every single cattle car that came through Keene, she climbed down into it to make sure the cows had enough space, enough food or water, enough warmth during the night. And it didn't take her long to notice that households where animals were being mistreated were much more likely to be households where women and children were being mistreated too. And it makes you wonder, how did Jenny do all of this as a woman in her day? It was said that she arrested more men than any other woman in the entire country. How did she pull that off? Well, if Jenny Powers were a superhero, her camera and her notebook would be her sword and her shield, more powerful than her revolver. Her photographs could speak for her whenever anyone would question her authority as a woman. be working at the Historical Society, hour after hour, going through all of these photos of mistreated animals, horses, cows, dogs, chickens. It got so depressing. But then I'd turn over the photos and I'd see her detailed notes. On every photo, dates, locations, all these little details. And with every word, with every detail, you could feel her conviction, her passion to protect the vulnerable. She recorded in her journal, word for word, the confrontations. Journal after journal after journal. These men don't want a woman telling them what to do with their property, with their wives, with their children, with their animals. 
but the photographs and her pen were her secret weapons. They turned a he said, she said into a he said, she said, and she's got the photos and the notes to prove it. That made the difference time and time again. There's still so much to learn about Jenny Powers and the lives she touched. In 25 years of museum preservation, I have never seen a photograph collection like this one. Typical historical society photographs are of family celebrations, parades down Main Street, ribbon cuttings, that sort of thing. What we don't tend to find are images of everyday life including poverty and abuse, a heartbreak and struggle, and the work of justice and healing and hope in the face of such struggle. And that's exactly what Jenny's work gives us, what Jenny's life gives us, a means of empathizing with the past, and at the same time, a means of being inspired by her courage for the sake of the future. A couple of years ago, our town painted a mural of Jenny Powers on Main Street. And every time my girls and I pass by, we make sure to pay our respects. She was a fearless woman, Mrs. Jenny B. Powers, agent for the Humane Society for New Hampshire and Vermont, deputy sheriff, courageous visionary, maker of humane history, the woman who dares.